Join me for part three as we continue to learn about Sifu Eric Carr's Bruce Lee story in studying Bruce Lee's art, Jeet Kune Do, and watch him teach his Jeet Kune Do class as we focus on JKD Chi Sao and trapping, the JKD tap drill exercise, watch JKD sparring in action, and hear the Bruce Lee story shared to him by his instructor and first generation student, Jerry Poti, and much more. Hey guys, Charles Damiano here from the Bruce Lee Collection, and today I'm here with Sifu Eric Carr. First of all, I want to thank you for allowing me and my sons to take your class. We had a fun time here today. It was a pleasure. So thank you very much. I was about three and a half years old, and um, it was on a Saturday, and the cartoons had ended, and there was nothing left to watch. But um, Kung Fu Theater, there was a show uh, back in the 70s and 80s called Kung Fu Theater, and that had come on, and that was my first exposure to, to Kung Fu. Everybody knows who Bruce Lee is. You know, growing up, if you like martial arts, the first thing out of anyone's mouth was Bruce Lee. Do you like Bruce Lee? Um, so I, I started watching his films and I was impressed just by what I saw and I, I learned a lot about who trained Jason Scott Lee, it was Jerry Poteet, and that was another name I, I kept in the back of my mind. I was about 20 years old and I decided I, I, there was something out there for me, um, something more than I was doing. I found him, Sherman Oaks. I called him one day and he said, sure, come by. So I, I went and we had our first lesson. I remember leaving that day thinking that, uh, you know, I didn't know what was going to happen, um, but I knew that something something just changed my life. Something big happened, and what he showed me, I knew, I had no doubt, was, um, was effective, to say the least. And it continued for the better part of 12 years. That's right. the great thing about Chi Sao, because it's a sensitivity uh, joke, right. right? So you're not thinking anymore. Max. Everything's uh, reacting after it a while. It does it. Yeah. That's what Bruce said. Max. It, it, there was a night uh, in class, you know, he and Jerry were packing up, and he came out and said, Jerry, Let's do some cheese salad. And he says, no hits. And Jerry says, no hits? He says, no, we'll just roll. So they're rolling. And all of a sudden, bam! Bruce hit Jerry in the chest. He said, hey, I thought you said no hits. And Bruce said, I didn't hit you. It hit you. The emptiness was there and his arm went. Yeah. And that's what has to be in a fight. And by the time something's swinging, if you're analyzing it, you're already hit. You can't think about it. Yeah. yeah. It's funny how he then used all those lines in the movies, right? And after the dragon. And the dragon, the right? The director's cut, yeah. right? Yeah. That was exactly. great. Yeah. It's it, it, all by itself. It, it, it's all right. by itself. Which is yeah. what makes his movie movies memorable. Yeah. Martial art itself. Yeah. You know, when I was a kid and I saw Under the Dragon, that piece was one that stuck out. That when he stomped on Joe Bobwell's chest, like just the emotion of looking yeah. at his face. That, like, I remember, like, I, I probably stopped breathing, you know, watching it. But those are the pieces that, that stand out to most people, yeah. and myself for sure. Um, How much to Chi Sao did Jerry actually do as part of his class? Was a lot. It a small, was a big oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I learned Chi Sao from Jerry. I'm yeah. pretty good. You know, I've had, I, like I said, guys, Wing Chun, and we work out all the time. Yeah, no, you have, you have like Wing Chun hands. You can feel it. Yeah, yeah so Jerry taught me, but it was yeah. always with the emphasis of no, hit. Yeah. Yeah. Always, hit. always think hit, think hit. That's, always hit. that's yeah. the principle of JKD, That's right? the point. Think hit. So the minute you feel the opening there, you're hitting, you're hitting, right? Yeah. It's not blocking. The whole point of the fight yeah. is to hit. You know, even here, it's like, okay, you know, you got good, good, I, there's nothing getting through. So I have, like, Something that Bruce said that I like to apply to the situation. He said, "The hell with circumstances, I create opportunity." So, what do you do? We got to create that opportunity. I got, I got to find something, bam, to, to make that work. And the idea is, when you're training it, you can't wind up for it. You feel, you feel that coming. You start thinking about it. And if I, yeah, if you feel my energy going this way, then you're gonna boom, right? I'm gonna take it. Yeah, like what? But if you start thinking about something, like okay, yeah. Exactly. You just have to react. You feel right? it. Yeah. yeah. It has to be autonomic. If you start thinking about it, you start tensing up, and the other person feels it. And this happens at any range. And then we could switch this way, right? If I kind of roll this way, I could switch it right now. You're in double bar, and I'm in hook cells, right? Well, this way. Yeah. Yes, sir. And everything that you do on one side, you know, as far as the preliminary motions, the, the you can do on the other, right? Exactly. You know, the cross grab. Yeah. Boom. You know, you can do it on the other. Yeah, either side. And then you get to a point where Bruce had a set of motions that you would do, and then after that, it was freestyle. Yeah. You, the, you, you get the structure, and you, you know the, the rules per se, right? So you can do stuff like just, you know, and start swinging, but that's not the drill anymore. Right. Yeah, it's a fight, and that's not what this is about. So yeah, it's, it's, a, it's an exercise. It's an exercise. But you should both be trying to hit in the exercise. Yeah, right? we're trying to create spot right. openings to hit. See? Yeah, see? So he feels something. Go do that again. So I feel it. I counter it. Yeah, good. 
Yep. Yeah. I counter it. I'm going for something else. There's a counter on the on top. And I can pock there, right? I could, I could do a pock there. Yeah. Certainly can. Right. right. Yeah. Pock there. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good one. See that one again? So I can kind of hit. Right? Exactly. Yep. Yeah. And then you got me here, right? I, I got here, but yeah. Yes, said. She responds to it. Good. Yeah. You, and you can't think about it. You got to feel it. Yeah. You got to feel these things. Good. Yep. Good. Yeah. Good. Is the reverse. Now something I would do is push out. So you, you didn't do it. You push forward. So yeah. something I'll do is I'll push out a little bit to get you to push that way. Uh, Most people will do that. And then you're gonna attack by draw. Energy, right? Exactly. Yeah. I'll just let it go. And you know, I'm trapped now too. Exactly. As soon as that arm comes, I'll get you. That same so you're thing feeling my energy draw you this way, right? Exactly. So I push that way subtly to get so you to push to go back. that way. So that's attack by drawing. So you're drawing you by go draw. this way, right? Yeah, I'm getting a reaction at you. Yeah. Does Lucy ever hit a hook or is he only jabbing all the time? No, he threw hooks. He did? You see today, he had a straight hook and a short hook. He called it the straight hook, and it was like oxymoronic because it's not a hook at all. And then he had the short hook, which is a boxer. Yeah. Which you're, which you're gonna yeah, see. Yeah, that's what I, I know. I don't normally see him throw like an actual like boxer. Yeah. Um, if you look at some of his choreography and slow it down, I, I'm sure there's one in there. Yeah. But, uh, But um, in training, it was different than, than the choreography in the, yeah. in the film. And it's, um, you know what I have noticed though, in, in um, all right, finish your thoughts, we're gonna mix around. Tap drill, uh, what I have noticed is, is <laughs> like right, some of the Muay Thai hurt. guys that we, we, we sparred with, or uh, fought, have fights with, yeah. one of the guys came and trained with us tonight, and I, I saw, his, his, everything's round like this. You know, and Jerry said to me, well, what breaks is a curve, a straight. Just down the middle, right? Somebody's going out, beat him to it. So we yeah. throw a lot of straights, and that came from Wing Chun. Um, but what beats a what beats a straight? A curve at the right time. Right. Somebody throws that curve so straight. I'm gonna go around. Right it. In, yeah, right? but get out. Yeah. Um, different timing. But uh, yeah, Bruce always believed the shortest distance between two points is a straight, straight line. line. So he, he would always be more straight because the hook takes longer, right? It takes yeah. more to travel. But there's a time and place for the hook Absolutely. as well. Absolutely, hundred percent, hundred percent. If you're gonna uppercut, same thing. I, I see, um, you know, uppercut. I'll see people like you know they'll come in, they'll slam in mitts, and they'll do this, but they're straight up, and they'll drop yeah. their hand. This is a chamber, but you're straight up. Yeah. You know, so there, there's a, a like a right tool for the job, right? So if I'm here, and maybe I throw something. Maybe Across it. If I drop here like this, now there's your uppercut. Yeah. But, I, but I've taken distance because the short hook and the uppercut are close. You, you have to really be. You can't throw an uppercut crowd here, right? You know, you, you, here's the thing. What I've also learned: um, never say never. It's like the, you can never do this. So, so, but it, it, there's a there's a, a time where you've got to have a lot of skill, and you're also risking something. Yeah. Gaston, he'll throw something like he'll be out here, and he'll just take a step, boom, like that, and you won't see it. Uh, right under the boom, and you're hit, and by then he's dropping across on you. Yeah. But you know, it, but however, there's obviously a risk. If you do something like that, yeah. you just got to know the difference. When I see people never, throw though. that when they think that's how you do it. No, this is the way you do it, and they're doing that. If they don't understand the difference, that's dangerous. Yeah. But if you understand the difference, you understand the risk, but you pull it off. That that's the difference. Yeah. Then you know what you're doing. And he may be doing this as a draw, right? That's it. To come down. It's and not a Maybe he's doing punch. a shuffle hook at that oh, point, yeah. right? Maybe he's switching gears. He just boom and then come and around. Switching gears. That's when he does that. Yeah, yeah. And then he'll drop the cross. Yeah. Everything is to close that distance. So if he has to do that, he'll go risk it. Right. Yeah. He may be drawing me to kind of come down, right? And then exactly. All of a sudden he, I, Even if it just taps him, that right. little disruption. Yeah. He'll he'll take that couple of inches he needed to land the cross or that or that hook. Yeah. You absolutely got it. That's great, man. All right, ready? I think you're just trying to touch the other person. Uh, 
Start making, yeah, start doing both. So now I pick up two dumbbells, I can do both because I didn't just focus on the strong side. And that's what happens. Your, your left gets stronger. Uh, Anytime you have to do sparring? Yeah. I, I, I just want to uh, kind of do a little light yeah. Can I do something with you? Yeah. Want to fight me? You're going to get in sparring today? Yes. And hopefully, if we have time, we'll do the groundwork. Are oh, you going to do a little groundwork too? Yes. Rest yeah. Me. Who are you going to spar today? I don't know yet. You don't know yet? Uh, I'm sure you're gonna have fun. Of course I am. <laughs> I, got, I got tired, you know, I wasn't throwing, I wasn't, you know, dropped my hands, whatever it is. Whatever you thought you were doing wrong, don't focus on that because the good thing about this is you get to do it again. And you're going to do it better next time. The other thing is there's something that you did, like he did. I, I, I've, I've been landing body shots on him. He's got really good perception, right? You move and he's out. It's like shining a light on a shadow, it's gone. So what I would do is I'd get his gloves, progressive indirect, I'd tap his gloves to get his tension up, and then I'd drop to his body. That's not working anymore, right? He tightened up, boom, I caught his arm, and he fired right back. I had to get out. So for me, I'm looking at that as a major win, and he did it three times, so it wasn't just a fluke. So you walk away, you can't always have good days. So and be grateful for the days you're like, fuck, I gotta work harder next time. Is it for fuel. And there's always something that you did, focus on that, focus on the goal, if the, you know, even if it's just a few things, really profound, it was a big deal, even though it's just that little thing, focus on that, and then the rest, so what? You get to do it again. Mario's getting in the ring, and we get to push him. 
This isn't five minutes against one person where you're both getting tired. And I, you know, I'm you know say almost six foot three, six two and a half. Chris, he you know he's double wide and he's got different style style also. So what do you call a number and then that person goes in? Exactly. Oh, nice. Yeah. Okay. I gotta remember ten numbers. So I'm just gonna yeah. Randomly. Just randomly, but hopefully I don't do anything. Oh. So, yeah. So everybody's got a different way of fighting. And they out, everybody here outweighs Mario. Is the other thing. So for Mario, it's like he's used to fighting with people with longer reach. So that this has been a benefit for him also. All right, we're ready. Do that. Hey, who's the boss? Like, yeah, that's the boss right there. So, so I don't miss a number. We're going in order. I, I, I numbered you guys in that way. Cool. I forgot mine. I think mine what do you mean you forgot yours? Is it mine? Ten. Yeah. I'm ten. Yeah. yeah. What do you want to listen to, Mario? Yeah. 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 Good. Oh, Don't burn yourself out. Good. You doing hands only? Yeah. <laughs> no. oh. Okay. Six, seven, who's 
snacks. Seven. <laughs> Damn it, Mario. Got time left. You got minute 30, Mario. Almost set. Come on, you got this. We're going to have footwork. Hands up. Hands up. Hands up. Get in there. Hands up, Mario. Hands up. 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 Shell up. Shell up. There you go, move around. Shell up and move that hand. Drop, don't drop the hands, Mario. Look, look. Shell, there you go. Hands up. Hands up. Shell. Hands up. Nice! Push up, Greg. Shove him. Come on, Mario. You got 30 seconds. You got this. Hands up. 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 Hands Let's get in the center. Yeah. Great job. Same number. Three minutes. Same number. Sure. Yeah. Let's get Mario post interview. How was that? Yeah. How was that drill? It was intense, dude. How are you feeling after? Post uh, I, I feel feel pretty good. You know, I, I I I there's some stuff I need to work on, but okay. you know, I went in there with my whole heart. Yeah, you looked good out there. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Number one. Go. Isaiah, I'll just call you by name. Isaiah. <laughs> 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 I can't kick. Don't give him that space. I can't kick. I lose. Oh, hands only. Chris! Chris, go! Chris! 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 Good kick! 
Why do not Yeah, it's a joystick. Yeah, I don't know what it's like. Hand up. Hand up. Hand up. two hands and two feet and when you're talking about combat well then baby you better train every part of your body stay tuned for part four as we continue to learn about sifu eric carr's bruce lee journey in his quest to learn bruce lee's jeet kune do from first generation student jerry poteet also have fun watching Sifu Eric Carr teaching his Jeet Kune Do class, sharing Bruce Lee stories, and giving me more private training on Bruce Lee's Chi Sao, trapping, and watch my sons and I attempt to spar one of his JKD students, and much more coming soon.